What's up guys, welcome to Bullish Bets. On this channel, we cover all things related to stocks and investing. We take a look at news where we can make some big bets with huge upsides. Today, we're going to talk about Michaels, the art company. So news just came out that they're going to be taken private. You're probably thinking, how is a retail art company ever going to survive? How is it even a good business model nowadays? Today to be honest with you guys, I thought the same when I saw the news that they were going to be acquired. It surprisingly is a profitable business that has been holding its own during this pandemic. Before we continue, keep in mind that we are not financial advisors and this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Make sure you do your own research before making any investment decisions. So let's get back to it. If we take a look at Michael's revenue, it's been steady around $5 billion from 2017 to 2020. They were able to maintain strong net incomes and even with the hit of COVID, they were still profitable. You know, they're able to make money even through this tough time. You know, that net income maintained at a $270 million range, uh, dropping by around 30, 30 or 40 million dollars or so. The price to earning ratio for Michaels right now, when I last checked, is around 14.69, uh, which is fairly low. With all these crazy valuations in 2021, you know, it's surprising to see a company valued at a price to earnings of 14. You know, they're probably in the same situation as GameStop before the GameStop squeeze. You know, they're being shorted due to the fact that they're retailers in an e-commerce age. And what makes this different is Michaels is still making money. And when I last checked, the short float uh, of Michaels is 15%. You know, it with all the sh uh, short squeeze craze, uh, it decreased from 23% to around 16-15% in the past month or so. You know, what makes this a great play is that it's not a, only a potential short squeeze with a 15% short. You can play with the knowledge that there will be a bidding war to take this company private. Um, Michaels just entered into a definitive agreement to be acquired by Apollo Global Management. You know, it might not go through, but it's a good thing for us. You know, the reason uh, it might not go through is because the board is being investigated as uh, people are saying the deal deal of $22 per share is too low. You know, they're arguing that it's not a fair value for the shareholders. You know, this potentially means that this deal will get blocked and potentially another bidder at a higher price will come in, you know. And during this period, uh, within March, they have a go shop period where they're able to solicit other potential buyers in a 25 calendar day period which is around uh, the month of March. Although Apollo and Michael came to agreement of uh, equity value of approximately three billion dollars now I'm sure it's gonna be much higher if another another company comes in seeing the value that Michael uh, is not only a great art company but it's producing net income and has a strong revenue, you know, some people will come in and try to buy in, you know, a potential scenario that could occur would be multiple buyers looking to acquire Michaels. And this will lead to, you know, this, like, like I mentioned, this bidding war, you know, it's very similar to what happened back then with a uh, KKR and RJR Nabisco. Uh, if you read the book, Barbarians at the Gate, you know, the CEO of Nabisco was trying to attempt an LBO and it ended up they end up having a bidding war with kkr leaving uh, the stock price of nabisco to shoot up and this is something you want to see if you're looking to buy into the stock you know as we look at the price of michaels now it jumped from um around 18 25 to 22 dollars you know the the downside risk to be honest is that the acquisition gets halted you know, due to the investigation that $22 is not a fair value. And the upside is that there's going to be a potential uh, 
company or multiple companies that will outbid Apollo and this will lead to the stock price of Michaels to jump even more you know this 25 day period uh, acquisitions is it's re really hot in the market and a five billion dollar acquisition price or a 3.2 I mean a 3.2 billion dollar acquisition price isn't that high and a lot of these companies you know like to grow through acquisitions and Michaels would be a great platform and uh, to get into the art space and create some synergies uh, with e-commerce that some companies might have so do you think this do you guys think uh, this is worth betting you know with the potential bidding war with the price shooting up you know, or do you think the downside risk is greater than the, greater than the reward you know let us know in the comments below so if you liked our content, you know, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You know, we really, really would appreciate it. This helps with the mysterious YouTube algorithm that we have to deal with so we can get more people to see our content and so we could, you know, spend more time and make better material for you guys. Again, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.